Something that you should have in your pack, whether you're going on a day hike or an overnighter, is a medical kit. This is the My Medic Hiker Medic Kit, and I'm going to go through the contents right now. Is Matt, welcome back to the channel. When going out on a day hike or even an overnighter, something that I think is just absolutely crucial to have in your pack is some sort of medical kit. And it absolutely astonishes me when I find out that people don't even carry just simple band aids. A couple of months ago, uh, I started working with my medic, they sent me a solo kit. I did a review for it, I will link it somewhere in this area and down there uh, but they found out that I was going on a backpacking trip and were kind enough to send along their hiker medic kit and I've not gone through this yet uh, I have looked at the contents online uh, and I've weighed it and it's only six ounces it's a little bit less than that and they have competition in this area and it's really with the adventure medical kits uh, and if you're not familiar with that, it's the little yellow bag that everybody seems to have uh, and sold in REI. And I think these guys are even sold in REI right now. But this is a better pack from just reading the contents than the Adventure Medical Kits. And I want to show you why and kind of talk about it at the end. So I'm going to spin the camera around. We will go through the contents of this pack right now. And I'm opening it for the first time. So surprise, surprise. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Here's everything laid out on the table that comes in the kit, starting from the top right over here. This is an emergency whistle. These things are great to have. A lot of packs do have them on their sternum strap, but hey, it doesn't hurt to have another one. Next up, we have two things of sunscreen. You know, sometimes people forget sunscreen and to have it in a little kit is always a good idea. This is obviously a hank of paracord. This is something that I, thought, I don't think anybody brings on a day hike, but if you're doing an overnight, you can use this to make an emergency shelter, which right here is an emergency blanket. And this is a big one. These things are just crucial to have just in case, as I mentioned before, you're out longer than you expect to be on a day hike specifically. Obviously, if you're going backpacking, you're probably going to have some sort of shelter system, but these things are good to have. Also, stave off shock in case something really traumatic happens. Right here, this is generic Benadryl. There are one tablet in each of this, so you get two of them. They will last 12 hours a piece. Right here is ibuprofen, which is Tylenol. There are two in each packet, so total of four pills. Right here in my hand is the triple antibiotic cream or ointment, also known as Neosporin, to help kind of sanitize the wound. Before you put that on, you're going to use some alcohol prep to give you two. Sting relief right here. These things are great for a bee sting, but also they'll take the initial kind of itch away from a mosquito bite. Two very large sterile pads. Uh, these are non-adhesive. Going into larger band-aids, these probably would be good for your heel. They'd be good for your elbow or for your knee or any other large wound. Four smaller size band-aids right here. Something that you don't get a lot of. This is burn gel, and this is great for sunburns, believe it or not, but it's also really for if you burn yourself on your cook system or you're on a fire. Some moleskin. This is their version of moleskin. You know, one thing I do like is that they come in these longer strips so you can cut these up and kind of put them where your blisters are, where you're getting kind of a rub on your shoe. Lip balm, something that a lot of people forget on a day hike or even over on overnights. Two packets of that. 
And this, this is just a great idea to put in any medical kit. This is hydration packages. Uh, you get two of them. Uh, one's in a grape, or I think they're both in grape right here, but this is something that you don't see in other medical kits. So for $26, you get everything that I just showed you in that pack. A lot of great items in there. The one thing that they didn't include, which I wish they would have, uh, is some sort of actual medical tape because those gauze, they're not adhesive, so you really have no way of kind of getting them to stick to your body. Uh, I do love the fizzy packs or the hydration packages in there. The one thing that you don't want to happen on any hike uh, is to become dehydrated, and those fizzy packs are fantastic. Also love the emergency blanket. So I will link these guys down below. The one thing that they did differently than they did the other kit that they sent me uh, is they didn't include name brand uh, medications in there, and that's something I'm a big fan of. Uh, the generics work just as fine, but I probably will replace those uh, and put in the name brand Tylenol and I'll put in a name brand Benadryl. I'm just like that. It's just one of my pet peeves. So thanks for watching these things. Link again will be down below for my medic. Pick one of these up for $26. You really can't beat the security and kind of the safety of mind that you'll get from having a medical kit on your next hike. Talk to you soon.